woolly cardigan on it. It's up against your, your arms. <laughs> Never stop learning, do you? Ever. It's like, it's like an ongoing process. There's no one who's like got to the end of the line and been like, yeah, I know everything now. I mean, apart from maybe Buddha, if you believe, you know, the stories, enlightenment and all that. But even that, I don't think he knew anything, everything. You know, I think he'd, he'd like to believe that was part of the point of the enlightenment, wasn't it? That he accepted who he was, or that's my take on it anyway. You know, enlightenment is is self, self-knowledge, self in my opinion. Well, this is the way I see it. Uh, apologies if you can hear uh, noises in the background. That's our guinea pigs. They just, I don't know why I've decided to start filming at this time of the day. I'm, I'm still drinking the same cup of tea, by the way. It's a really nice cup of tea. I don't know, I've mentioned that before. It's really nice. But yeah, they're, they're just kind of bimbling about doing their own thing. So, oh God, love them. As I was saying, uh, you never stop learning. And I learned something today, earlier. Um, and this is a bit embarrassing, if I'm honest. Only, only a smidge. Yeah, I was, uh, I was doing an animation for one of our old, old clients. And um, we've had a few problems with these in the past. And it's just, it's always been like one of the... Because when you're doing an animation, sometimes you'll drop in like image stills or video. So in this particular instance, it's a video sequence from a screen recording. Now, when I've dropped it in a few times, it's like had problems with it getting a bit murky. And it's like, none of us could figure out why. It's like, no, it's recorded, fine. So then it goes in, it's fine. But then it renders out and it's not fine. What's, what's, ha what's happening here? Oops, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I I, uh, I took the time, I took the trouble to actually look up the specific problem. And it was actually something really simple, which is a bit embarrassing. Uh, in my defense, in my defense, I normally work with uh, 2D graphics when it comes to animation. So that's the, a different kind of thing to what I'm getting at. Just, I'll explain. So basically when you pull a video in and if you are rescaling it, the algorithm that controls how it rescales in terms of quality is the different options for that. Now I have that set to bilinear because again, I work with 2D graphics and that's better for that. Um, so I didn't realize that actually there's an option for bicubic, which is like a different kind of algorithm for sharpening when you rescale things. And I was like, ah, okay, just click that. There we go. That's, that solved that problem. Yeah, it'd be embarrassing, but you know, you, you're always learning. You're always learning, right? You know, I, I feel like I probably should have known that because uh, I've been doing animation for a hell of a long time now. So. Five years I've been animating. Crikey. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Still, at least we figured it out. Problem solved. Uh, so yeah, you know, you're always learning stuff. You're always learning stuff. And another example was a client wanted to do some video and I was like, look, you know, man, it's a bit difficult to get out film. Uh, it's probably better if you do it yourself. You know, as it happened, he had a DSLR, which is great. I was like, hey, you've got, you got a decent camera to record. You may as well use it, right? Um, because you use what you have around you. That's that's part of the craft of this actual job of videography and stuff. You use what you've got around you. you know, it's not always about having the precise kit that you specifically need. Just to, if you need to bodge something, do it. You know what I mean? It's, it's fine. It, things will work out, I promise you. So... Anyway, he said, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go away and film it. And anyway, he was stressing like fuck over it. He was just like, oh, man, I can't get this. I can't get that. You know, I was like, don't just try not to think about it so much. Just just riff it, you know, go off the top of your head. But the point is, it was supposed to be fun. You know, this sort of thing, it's supposed to be fun. I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't fun. I've actually discovered that it's, it's fun to be on this side of the camera as well as that side of it. And so I'm quite enjoying that. Uh, so I said to him, it's supposed to be fun. Just breathe, take time to breathe. Uh, you'll get there. Yeah, and he did. He did. Yeah, I think it was a few takes later, but yeah, he got there, sent it to me, smashed it. Yeah, it was all one long cut. It was just it was perfect all the way through, which was great. So he learned something new. That was really good. And he learned something new in the space of a few days. Like he'd gone from really not being comfortable in front of a camera to bam, a couple of days later, he was like, 
well, yeah, I mean, we're to the point where I've just said, yeah, you know, we've got some presenting jobs coming up. If you're interested, you know, you might as well throw your hat in the ring for it. Why not? Why not? Never know where that might take you. The point is, I've had a few people lately who've done that exact same thing. They're like, oh God, no, I can't be on this side of the camera. I feel weird talking into a lens. And yeah, it is a bit weird, but you get used to it really quickly, actually, as it goes. You just kind of just get on with it. You, know, you sort of forget. It just becomes more natural. Uh, so, you know, if you do have a camera, I'd recommend you use it. It's nice. It's good fun, this. Quite enjoy it. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Learn new stuff. Learn new things. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm sort of putting all this in the context of video production. I don't know why. It could be anything. You know, I mean, learn knitting. Knitting is a good skill. It's useful. Trust me, it is a good skill as well. Uh, my mother-in-law, who, God, I shouldn't do that. She's a lovely lady. I love you, Jill. Love you very much. I mean it. She's She's got the kids today. So, yeah. Thank you, Jill. Cheers. But she crochets and she makes stuff for the kids. And it's great. It's like, ah, oh, free clothes. Mint. They're really nice. It's like really nice wool and stuff. I can't wear wool. I just, ooh, 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 goes through me. It's like someone dragging the nails down a board. You know, you got like a, a woolly cardigan on it. It's up against your, your arms. God, God, fills me with just fear. Oh, horrible, really horrible. So I can't wear those scratchy wool and stuff because it honestly makes me want to vomit. Uh, it makes me feel a bit sick just thinking about it, which is really strange. But everyone's got something, aren't they? The little ticks and quirks. So yeah, that's that's. Anyway, I digress. Let's learn something new. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I've got to hold that. That's not nice. Okay. <laughs>